Hi everyone, I'm Bill V. Today we're going to talk about ML flow. This is along my ML Ops summer theme. Even though we're bleeding into fall a bit, that's okay. So this will be a little different than my standard video format. We're going to do a book review and then we'll do a little experiment from the book. And the book is Machine Learning Engineering with ML Flow by Natu Lachande from Pack Publishing. Thank you, Abir from Pact, for sending this over for this review. The first thing I'm going to show you about this book is you can see it's relatively thin. In my opinion, that's a very good thing because it's concise and he gets straight to the point of setting up an end-to-end -end pipeline, ML pipeline. He doesn't spend a lot of time getting into depth of machine learning concepts. So I would recommend having a feel for machine learning before approaching this book. But again, to me, if, if, if you're on a deadline and you need to set up a ML pipeline, this is an awesome book for helping you understand intuitively ML flow or machine learning pipelines in general. It's awesome for that. Another thing about this book is it's $40 uh, currently on Amazon. The common question that I would ask is, can you find decent things online on MLflow? There are decent docs on MLflow, but I would still recommend the book because it does give you an end-to-end -end project. He uses an example of a stock market model, which to me is really interesting. And he kind of steps you through it kind of talks in a normal tone. So it's not like reading an API document. So to me, it was really helpful, especially on having to understand MLflow on a deadline. Another thing about this book is it doesn't depend really on a platform. For example, he doesn't pull on the Google Cloud API or Azure or SageMaker. He does have a very, very small section on SageMaker, but really this book is be run on any of those platforms. He uses Docker containers heavily, so that should give you a feel of what I'm trying to say with that. So now I'll try an experiment uh, from the book. We'll install MLflow and uh, try to set something up. So we're just gonna do a very simple example. Uh, it's uh, getting started with MLflow early in his book. So we're just going to start with um, his git. So I got his git right there. Let's get up. Let's make a directory. Um, I'll just call it flow test. Okay, and we have to clone his git. Actually, I can just do it like this, can I? that copy down. Okay, we'll go inside of it. Okay, so we've cloned his git and I've gone into um, chapter one uh, where he has the getting started section. So according to his instructions, we can run a docker uh, that he's he has ready in here. Um, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to run the Jupyter notebook he has already. Um, prior to that, I have to install the MLflow library. So I'll just do that really quick here. It's pretty easy. Um, so after doing the pip install MLflow, um, you can also run the uh, sort, sort of a web service in a way where you can connect to MLflow from your browser. Um, so, so that's a really cool thing about this library as well. Uh, in this instance here, we're just going to run the Jupyter Notebook and run the code he already has. So let's get that up and running here. Okay.
Okay, so we've opened up his Jupyter Notebook for Chapter 1. Um, now we're going to go ahead and run through it. So again, what we're going to look for here, let's clear that up and make it easier. What we're going to look for is uh, for this to create artifacts. Uh, we've done that. We're going to run this real quick here. Okay, so it's finished running. Now let's take another look. Okay, uh, so that ML runs is what we're looking for, so we need to just CD into that. We're going to take a look at it. There's one directory named zero. Okay, so we have some stuff here. Uh, you can see the artifacts right there, and that's a directory you can go into as well. And you have a, um, some more, uh, you got metrics, all sorts of stuff. Um, so this was just the very, very basics. Again, it was just getting started. Um, be sure to hit the like button if this book review was helpful to you. And uh, subscribe. Thanks.